Hey, what's up guys? Frankie Slauson here for another great Frankie Slauson Show video, but also as part of the daily summer vlogs here on YouTube and on my channel that I'm going to be doing throughout the whole summer. Uh, some videos might be interesting, really fun, you know, depending on what's going on. Other videos might be completely boring, but, you know, I'm going to try to spice them up as much as I can and, and you know, try to amaze as many people as I can. Uh, anyway, today's uh, video uh, we're going to talk about, we're going to do a proper review on, on a movie. On a certain movie starring a certain YouTuber, uh, and I think this was his first major film debut, I think. Oh, actually, their, their film debut, because there's more than one. But who am I talking about? What am I talking about? Well, let me find it here. <laughs> The movie that I'm talking about is, if you followed my video yesterday, uh, at the very end anyway, I mentioned which one I was going to review, and that is of Banshee. Banshee. <laughs> yes, Sean. Yes, MJ. I did finally get my copy of Banshee. I didn't order it from you guys, though. I, I actually ordered it from Amazon.com. And I, it, you know, I wish I could have got it signed by you guys, but, you know, obviously... I don't know your address no more, so, you know, I can't have you sign it. But if you still wanted to, you know, all you have to do is hit me up in a private message. You know, I could send it to you, and then you could sign it. But anyway, and send it back to me, but it's up to you guys. But yes, Banshee. And now, I don't know how many people have actually reviewed this movie. I know there was a good selective handful, anyway, of people that did actually review, that did a, a little bit of a review on it, anyway. And... I watched it, see, I got it on, what did I get? I got it on Saturday. See, this whole past weekend, it was my sister's graduation weekend, so I didn't actually get a chance to watch it until Saturday. No, I didn't watch it until Sunday. I got it on Saturday in the mail, and I think I only paid, let's see, I think it was $15 for this. Yeah, because it was included in free shipping and everything. Uh, I watched it on Sunday for the first time ever. I liked it in the beginning. Now, this is, might contain a little bit of a spoiler, anyway, if, if you guys haven't seen it, if you want to see it, you know, don't watch this video until you've seen it. But if you have seen it, or, or just want to know what, about it, let's just say it's a very interesting movie. It, it takes kind of, you know, I don't even know how to explain it. I, I, it it's one of those movies that you know, have, kind of have that 80s feel, but kind of have that current feel, too. Because, you know, it, it pretty much based on... Uh, a uh, Irish Irish legend, I guess, you know, about uh, the Banshee, and you know, you see all these kids, you know, a group of you know confused teenagers, you know, horny teenagers, you know, that uh, get themselves in a world whirlwind of adventure and trouble and everything, and yeah, it's it's kind of it, it's it's pretty, I don't know, <laughs> it's pretty intense, I tell you, some some parts and and the parts where the Banshee actually comes up and and. Uh, you know, ki you know, kills some of the teenagers or whatever. How how that happens? It, oh man, I tell you, thank, just thank God it wasn't in real life. Thank God this was a movie and not something that could actually happen in real life. Uh, I liked how uh, it kind of reminded me. Uh, some parts kind of reminded me of uh, Terminator Two, and you're probably wondering why Terminator Two. Well, uh, what people don't know about the Banshee is that it actually can uh, turn into somebody else. And I thought that part was very, very cool. It wasn't just a, a monster that you see here on the on the cover. It actually can turn into somebody, you know, whether it's somebody that it's already killed or somebody that it will kill or just to confuse the person that, you know, like thinks that uh, that they're talking to the actual person or they're actually seeing the person that, you know, think that they're alive and all of a sudden they're, they're dead or whatever and they kill that person. You know what I'm talking about? Follow me along anyway. Follow along. <laughs> I have done a DVD review in a while, so I'm a little rusty. But I've been wanting to do this review for a while. I, I The reason why I got it was because, uh, well, it wasn't just because of the whole controversy thing with, with, with uh, Sean MJ and, and Mad Puppet Death, because that thing I think was complete bullshit in the, in the first place. I'm glad it's finally done with and over with. It was because I, I've always been you know, supporters of Sean and MJ and everything they've ever done. And the fact that they've, you know, now produced or started some movies, 
finally make it to DVD. You know, uh, there's a bunch of others that will finally make it to DVD here and there. Uh, and uh, just because I've been following them for so long, for over two years, and, and I think this is kind of neat that they can actually take something that they've always loved to do, which is act, and actually have this be seen on national television, as they say, as seen on the Chiller Network, right? so, or as seen on Chiller, Scary Good, <clears throat> that they can actually, you know, produce something or, or star in something that it was actually a hit. Now, it's not a major blockbuster film or nothing like that, you know, but it's an independent film, an independent horror film, and I'm more into, like, the 80s and 90s horror films, but I don't mind, you know, a little independent, you know, you know, horror stuff because you can tell that it's independently made because of how it looks, how the video looks and everything, but they did a good job uh, presenting everything.